and welcome back. So today we're going to be doing a video that I recorded the other day, but I couldn't do because it didn't work. So it was initially a, um, I, I 3D designed a housing for my Brandenburg vehicle using the breadboard and um, the motors that I have. And in the same sort of setup and design, and I did that and I filmed it, but I couldn't get the video that I filmed of my screen to import into the software that I'm using, which is called Lightworks, because of an issue. It's fine. I'm going to redo it today, but I'm not going to do the Brandenburg um, housing this time, because it was going to take 15 hours to print. It's not the design I want, um, so what I'll do is in my spare time I'll work on that, and then I'll keep you up to date. But for now what we're going to do is I'm going to take you through and I'm going to show you uh, how I designed a ring instead because more of what I'm showing you is my design process so this is just a little a little like um, signet ring it goes on picky finger sits there it's got OD on it you'll see it all in the program you can't see it that well here um, and I'll sort of take you through how I've done it and I'll be using Fusion 360 to do that so let's cut to that now and I'll show you exactly how I break down my design process so this is my Fusion 360 plane where I'll be working. So I'm going to just take you through this drag bar basically. So I pre-designed this whole ring just to make it a bit quicker and easier for you guys to understand what's going on. And I'll explain as I'm going just because otherwise like this took me quite a lot of tweaking, quite a lot of time to achieve. So what we'll do is I'll explain a couple things. So we're going to work in the top plane for now. So that's this one. So imagine this to be above the design piece. You can sort of rotate it to be like the left or the right using this little box up here. But we'll work in the top plane. So then if I drag this along one, the first thing I did was I designed the sizing of my ring. So if I edit this sketch, you'll see that the inside diameter is 18.8 millimeters in diameter. And then I did an offset of four millimeters just to give a, a thick ring to start with. Okay, so I finished that sketch. Then I went and I extruded it. So now you've got this sort of big, almost um, just tube basically. There's nothing else to say about it, it's just a, a large tube. So that's cool. I'll then move us along again. One. So now I've done another sketch here, and I'll edit sketch to show you what. So here I've basically uh, sketched in a taper to be able to give a, a thinner portion of the ring underneath your finger and a thicker portion of the ring above your finger, just to add to the look and give it a bit. So then you'll see next I do is I do a cut, which I'll orbit to show you again. So there we go. So now I've cut the ring. I cut a little bit off the bottom there, but that's fine. That gets resolved in a bit. And um, now you've got a bit of a taper and a ring is starting to form a little bit. So then I'll do the next sketch, which I'll edit to show you, which is a circle in the center. And you'll see why in a second. I don't think I use that next, but I use it for sure later. So next, what I decided to do, that was my phone, sorry. Next, what I decided to do is I finished this sketch. I then filleted the top bit and I filleted the bottom, which gives you this more rounded, smooth ring. I then cut the, the circle that I drew earlier. So the circle that I drew here, this one, if I edit sketch here, it's this circle that I cut off of the top. Okay. Then I did uh, another drawing because I wanted it to be a little bit rounder. Uh, in fact, I may not have even used this drawing. I think this was part of one of my old designs. But let's continue on anyway. So then, 
it's very very little notice there but if you watch here you'll see the difference I just filleted the edges just to give it a smoother fit when you actually put the ring on in practicality I then drew in my logo so this is quite an easy thing to do on Fusion in comparison to uh, SolidWorks, which is the normal program I use. In Fusion, it's actually as simple as, I'll use the search feature, but I've got it there. Text, you pick the plane you want to use, so say that one, and then you have to draw it a, bo a, bo a point initially, and then you just type whatever you want, and it will pop up, and then you can rotate and stuff. It's actually very easy. So then, I extruded that, but I extrude cut through the material, so now it's a bit, uh, it's embossed into the actual ring, as you can see. Then I, initially, I thought about cutting into the ring a little bit and cutting the face down, which I did just to get a bit you can't notice it hugely because I only cut it down by like a mil. But if I, you can sort of see that the oval gets a little bigger. And that was the, that's where I left this piece and I printed it off basically. I'll, um, I'll run the print again and I'll do a little time lapse just to sort of show you the printer in action a bit more. Uh, but this is the sort of final piece I came up with. I think it looks quite nice. Um, and I was doing this piece mostly just to learn different features on Fusion anyway. So I'll show you the time lapse now and then we'll cut back to me. So that was the printer working, that was pretty good. Um, we printed off the ring in the end, that is here. I will, um, I'll put some pictures here and here sort of thing, showing off a bit more detail because you can't really see the, the OD on the camera because it's so uh, dark. But I'm considering putting this in some resin and then making it out, well putting this in some epoxy and making it out of resin. Um, might be a little cool project to do, that's something I'll look at doing in the future. But yeah, that's, um, that's this video done. I just wanted to show you sort of the program that I'm using, my sort of rough design process on something small scale like this, and then um, show the printer working because I haven't actually shown anything of it in use yet. I introduced it and then I just left it. So now we've seen everything. So yeah, there we go. Hey, if you enjoyed that video, consider liking or maybe even subscribing and watching another video. If you saw anything you liked in the video, check the description down below for some links. Uh, all links will help support me in this channel. Thanks.